Normally, I come here with Kensei, but he said he had to pick up something very important at the bookstore today. Oh, girly, Mags. So you two usually walk back and forth between here and the dojo. Is this part of your training routine? Nah, I'm just saving on bus fare. Uh, Let go or you'll be sorry! <laughs> Calm down, little girl. We're just gonna ask you some questions. Hey, I know them. Izumi and Mikado. School friends, they look like they're in trouble. We're trying to find a girl that goes to your school. Looks just like you. Except she's taller and her hair and eyes are different. And she's not so scrawny. So you're looking for a girl that wears glasses, is that it? <laughs> That's what I said! I remember now. Those are the same thugs that me you beat up the day I met her. I've got to do something. There go my weak legs again. Why is it so hard for me to work up the courage when I need it? Uh -huh. Hey, that little punk was with her. Is that Kimichi? Go home, girls. Your friend will be fine. Come on. Be careful, Kimichi. <laughs> What's he doing? Move, old man. I got some business with the kid there. Oh, is that so? I'm afraid I don't quite understand. Has my disciple caused some sort of trouble? <laughs> Watch out, boys. He's tricky. Keep both your eyes on him. Hey, uh, dude? Yeah, what is it? Um, well... What the heck are you blabbing a... <laughs> ah! Sorry, that's my fault. Dislocation is an old habit of mine. Some habit? There you go, but you should watch where you stick that thing. You're completely insane! Uh, you two, get some weapons or something. Hurry, and get the boss while you're at it! Yeah, right. Now that's just rude. I'm not completely insane. Isn't that right, Kenichi? <laughs> All right, boys, I'm guessing this freak here is like Glasses Girl's old man, and that makes him fair game. Come on out, boss. Let me introduce you. That's the guy. You take care of him, and we'll deal with the runt. Oh, my, you're certainly a big fellow, aren't you? We're in trouble. This guy's built like a redwood. Looks like we got ourselves a bonus. We were just trying to track down that brat daughter of yours. But seeing as how you need to learn to keep your kid in line, we'll start with you instead. I hate to rent on your parade, but I'm still a bachelor. What, you call me for this? He's smaller than anyone here. <laughs> Next time, make sure he's at least your size before you think about wasting my time. Uh, excuse me if I may. I take it that you're the leader of these men. We seem to have a bit of a misunderstanding. Whatever the problem is, I'd rather not have to cause any trouble for you or your goons. Perhaps it would be best if we went our separate ways. At least if we all walk away right now, you won't have to dirty that fancy white suit that you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, you show him, boss. Oh, man, he's gonna get killed. What did you do that for? That's government property paid for with your hard-earned tax dollars. It appears that I may have offended you in some way, haven't I? Again, I'd rather not fight you, but if that's the case, I am willing to take back some of what I said earlier. Yeah, that's more like it. Not feeling so cocky now, are you? I don't believe it. Is he apologizing? I take back the part about not wanting to cause you any trouble. <laughs> did he really just do that? With one finger. Truth is, I don't care much for people like you. You're overbearing, rude, and always trying to intimidate people. So I've decided it's about time to give you boys a little taste of your own medicine. <laughs> really? You think you can bully me? Kenichi? <laughs> yes? I'll give you a quick jujitsu demonstration. Keep your eyes open and try to learn something. You got it. Should you find yourself in a situation where your opponent is bigger than you are... Oh, shut up and fight already! First, here's what not to do. You should never face your opponent directly like this, because you'll eventually be overpowered. But he's not budging. How come? 
I mean, it's simple physics. He should be getting pushed back. <laughs> He's hooking his toes into that manhole cover? Ouch. <laughs> Wait a second. Why are you screaming, huh? <laughs> okay, now I'll show you the right way to do it. That's it! Now I'm mad! What you want to do is make your opponent think you're moving forward, when what you're really doing is moving sideways into his blind spot. Then, in an actual jujitsu fight, before you did anything else, you'd attack one of his vital points. But that's only a preparation move, so you can get your opponent off balance. Well, it certainly seems effective. Now, before your opponent's punch gets up to speed, you move a half step forward and deflect his power away from him. And then... You throw it. Amazing. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I just hope you learned something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see you deflect some bullets, you freak. <gasps> He's got a gun this time. What the heck is with this guy that is totally crossing the line? All right, that does it. You idiots are far too reckless for my taste. What if you'd accidentally hit an innocent bystander? <laughs> Come on, it's time someone taught you some manners. Let go of me! Oh, and Kenichi? Sit tight for a moment, if you would. This won't take long. Let's get it! Can't take us all. Remind me never to get on Sensei's bad side. I almost feel sorry for those thugs. I didn't know people's bodies could bend that way. It's like he had some kind of superhuman strength, especially for someone his size. Well, according to him, the human body is made up of three different kinds of muscle. White muscle that's good for fast, sudden moves but lacks endurance. Red muscle that's got endurance but not much power. And in between those two is a bit of pink muscle that's supposed to have both qualities combined. They say the ratio of the three muscle types stay the same your entire life. But Olakasame, he ignored conventional wisdom and followed his own theories. He believed that muscle type could be changed, and after 20 years of bizarre training, he had converted all his red and white muscle to pink. So, while he may not look all that strong, what you see is 100% muscle. He's like a rock. I doubt that guy has a milligram of body fat on him. You mean, he might even be stronger than you? Did I say that? Don't be stupid, kid. I don't do all that freaky training, but I'm no slouch either. Tell you this, though. He's one of those guys. If I never do have to fight him, that's just fine by me. If we ever did get into it, one of us would wind up dead. Huh.